Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to solve a word problem that involves the Pythagorean theorem. So this problem reads that the bottom of a ladder is placed four feet away from a building. The top of the ladder is touching the building 12 feet above the ground. And we have to determine how long is the ladder. And we have to express our answer to the nearest tenth of a foot. All right, what we're going to do first to solve this problem is we're going to sketch out a diagram of what is happening in this word problem. So we're going to start by drawing a line that is 12 units in height. So we have 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. So it was given in the word problem that the ladder is touching the building 12 feet above the ground. So all we need is 12 feet in height of that building. And it goes on to say that the bottom of the ladder was placed 4 feet away from the bottom of the building. So here's the building, and we're going to make a distance that is 4 away from that. So the top of the ladder is right here, 12 feet above the ground, and the base of the ladder is four feet away from the bottom of our building. So those two distances, 12 and four, form a right angle, and those are the legs of our right triangle. And what we have to do is determine the length of the ladder, which really is the hypotenuse of our right triangle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna square our two legs which is represented by A and B, and we're gonna solve for the hypotenuse, which is represented by C. So we're gonna plug four and 12 into A and B, which are the two legs. And when we square four, that's gonna give us 16, and 12 squared is 144. We have to set that equal to C squared. And when we add these two values together, we get a total of 160. And that's going to be equal to whatever C is to the second power. And to figure out what that is, we just have to take 160 and take the square root of it. And that is what C is going to be equal to. Now, 160 is not a perfect square. That means we would end up getting some irrational value. We're going to have a decimal value that we're going to have to round. If you were to punch this into a calculator, you would get 12 point six, four, nine, one, one, and a continuation of other digits. And the problem is asking us to round to the nearest tenth of a foot. Well, this is the tenths place, so we gotta ask ourselves, is this gonna remain six tenths or go up to seven tenths? And the number in the hundreds place has to at least be a five for us to round this value up. And because it is not, we just truncate everything after the six and write our answer as C being approximately equal to 12 and 6 tenths. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math video. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new videos to my channel. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.